He's the only comic book character on roller skates. The roller skating community loves Harley Quinn. The fact that she's on skates in a film, we're gonna go crazy over this. For the derby scene, all of the skaters that are going to be in it are real roller derby skaters. Everybody on the track knows exactly what they're doing, and that'll also provide for a very cool-looking environment because it's completely natural. Everybody lives on their skates. People who come from totally different career paths and backgrounds that my life would have never intersected with them without this sport. So it's a pretty special place. Those girls are so rad. Even when you're a newcomer like me, they make you feel so welcome. The sense of community and loyalty and friendship is so strong. I mean, they're tough as hell. They dive headfirst into fights. They're insane. We are introduced to her skating as a very aggressive roller derby player. That aggression has to carry throughout the film and into the other action scenes that feature the roller skating. So there is absolutely an element of who Harley is in how Margot has to learn to skate. My skating was, I hope it was good. I definitely underestimated how hard it would be because I thought, oh, I've done Itonia, I've done a lot of ice skating. Just throw some wheels on it, it'll be the same thing. It definitely wasn't as painful as ice skating, I have to say. We were fortunate enough to work with Rachel Rotten because, of course, everyone's got real derby names. It's really about getting her as comfortable on wheels as she was on ice. Today, we really worked on Margot being able to stop on a dime. We worked on some whips, which is a transfer of energy where somebody essentially throws a skater using your arms. With me! Okay. It's scary at first because you pick up so much speed when you're taking that energy transfer. We worked on her taking the canary cry, getting into that movement, sound propelling her forward. So we got a lot of fun work done today. Made her hit me a little bit. It's fun. In Suicide Squad 1, you didn't really get as much of the acrobatic style in there. In this version, there's a lot of really amazing moves that Renee does that really speak to Harley's history as a gymnast. Doing a fight scene is difficult in its own right. And then when you put roller skates on your feet, it changes everything. Margot is so good on the skates that anything short of those bigger double gags, she was able to do just fine. When it came to some of the fight skills on the skates, because I do have the stunt and fight background, it was a little more adaptable for me to learn how to do those on the skates than to teach someone who had never done martial arts how to do martial arts in roller skates, which is a very complicated thing, by the way. Tonight we're shooting part of the movie where I'm on roller skates. Uh, we have a car, I'm attached to a car. Now I have to hit a certain mark on this other car to initiate my flip and then land in the right spot for the camera, so. A lot of moving parts here. It's a lot of fun. That's what you're getting. It's unpredictable and it's out of order and it's messy and funny and it's dangerous and it's violent and it's absurd. It's a wild ride. It's a bit of everything. 